Hey guys, my name is SickBOT1, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. As per usual, I grinded up a little bit. Milana's now level 15, Bato's level 18, and I haven't healed. There's some grinding over here, and over here we cannot really progress. And I will show you why. <coughs> and I fought all the trainers over here. There is this cave here. This is Mount Coronet, and this actually serves a very important purpose throughout the game. You can do Rock Smash over here, but I ran into a Pokemon. <clears throat> well, that sucks. There's the throat out. In through the mouth! Out through the mouth. I don't know. Go away. You can smash this rock, but there's only Strength Boulders over there, which we can't move yet. I'm sorry about the snorting. Unless I find a way to cut it, which I actually do have a way to cut it, I just need to not snort right after I say something, or while I'm saying something. Okay. So, in the last episode, we got told to find the guy who runs the bike shop. And I know I haven't been doing last episode recaps, but that's only because everybody else does them, and I think they're a bit redundant, and you should watch every episode. So you really should. Thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it. I insist. And we got a bicycle. This one is actually a combination of the acro bike and the and the mock bike from Generation Three. So it's pretty neat, actually. Can uh... hold on. Let me register it to my select button. Bicycle register. There we go. Uh. What? Where's my... S oh, wait! That's my Y button, okay. I was having trouble. You press the B button and swap to a different gear. The, this is mock setting, and it goes fast. And this is just slow. It's actually not so much an acro setting as it is just slow setting, but easier to turn. So there's that. And now we can go down here. For some reason, I can't ride my bike now, but once I get here, I can. There's some trainers here, but I'll do my best to avoid them. <clears throat> you know, I don't really want to fight that many trainers on screen because it wastes time. Also, I forgot to heal. Crap, and this is Staravia. Staravia. I think it's Staravia. Well, Anna might be in trouble. It's yeah, Staravia is the evolution of Starly. And yes, I did forget to heal. But we're en route to Orberg, so I think we should be fine on that front. Okay, okay, Side Wave is too crappy of a move to miss. Okay, okay. It's pretty accuracy. And yet, and yet, it does that crap. That's unacceptable. I'm sure you just growled at me. I'm threatening you are, or are not. You use a double team. That's childish. Also, why did you play any growl on my mysterious? I mean, it's not like mysterious are known for physical attacking. I know I got a nature that helps that, but regardless, I have any physical moves on my, on Milana. <laughs> and, yeah, but one time I sent Milana on camera, and I can't even use him because he got too damaged. And Bato, I don't remember what nature Bato had or what it did to him, but really, I am kind of annoyed that he's not doing that much damage to foes compared, compared to what Jesse and Christian can do. It, it really is annoying, so, why am I showing this? Because oh, I, I just wanted to talk, and I'll suggest to Ah! Bubble, please make your mark, Bubble. I know he's got, built up three double teams, but you gotta prevail. You gotta, you gotta fight through it. You gotta fight for your rights to protect. I'm gonna finish with Pack. I'm gonna story again. I'm gonna cut that out, me. I'm gonna cut Come on, come on, we gotta pull through. We gotta hit that story again. Can't make this too difficult. On ourselves. Heck, please. 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 No matter how well you raise, lower my attack, you're probably just gonna go down next to me anyway. If I can land a hit. <sighs> okay. You're not making this any easier for yourself or for me. You're just delaying me inevitable. You're just delaying me inevitable. I swear you are. You might not think it now, but you are. Just hit it. You have plus four evasion, but you can hit him. Why are you not hitting? Actually, I know you're not hitting. It's just, it doesn't make it any easier for me to accept the fact that you are not hitting. For the love of the fact that you're going to chop around ice. <laughs> there goes my friend Christian, you're going to have to finish the job. Because I don't really trust Jesse out there. Look, 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 look. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Okay. Trainer, this is, this is overkill, what you are doing right here. This, you have lost this battle. You have lost this battle. You cannot possibly survive much. You went six plus eight, plus six evasion. Not this issue. There's a reason this move is banned. In Togon. I know this move is bad for a reason, and this is the exact reason, because it's stupid. It's really dumb. It's ridiculously dumb. Now, I'll consider keeping blood, but once I get anyways, I'm holding on to that thing for dear life. Because this is ridiculous. Finally, made my mark. 
that was a necessarily long time on the battlefield. And nobody got a level from it, and my print flip is fainted. Before I even consider doing the rest of this, I'm gonna go heal. Alright, back on my feet again. And I healed. And I also taught Milana Flash in place of her growling. Why did I do that? I knew that was going to happen. Come on, me. Yeah. Reason I taught her Flash, I mean him, ugh. I'm so used to referring to Miss Dribbs and Miss Magius as females that I... It's annoying, I'm sorry, but we're gonna need Flash in a dungeon pretty soon. It's an optional dungeon, but it's one that I want to show nonetheless, and I don't want to show this, actually. Cutting. Milana level 16. I don't think this is particularly a milestone for him, but you know what? You know what? Oh, I can show this. This is Ponyta. This is a common fire type. In fact, it was introduced in Generation 1. It's fast, and it's decent at attacking. It's not the best fire type, but you know what? It's a thing. He goes on a Rapidash at level 40, which is actually pretty late for how average this guy is. But, uh, here's the thing. This and Infernape are the only fire types that you are gonna be seeing in Sinnoh, at least in Diamond and Pearl. It's kind of ridiculous. I know. However, I am not gonna be using Rapidash. For the main reason that, well, I want to be more original. I will have a way to deal with fire types by the end of the game. I want you to be sure of that. Also, I won't be getting my last party member until a few more badges. So just bear with me. I'll take you to level 19. What do you want to learn by, eh? Uh, do I want to use that? I mean, I know what it does, so I don't need to check it, but do I want to use that? And let's get rid of Peck. Peck has not really been doing me any favors this, this so far. <laughs> this what? What was I trying to say? Bato keeps getting experience. Like, Ponyta is such a new experience that he just has to get more and more. Ah, crap. Uh, another guy. Just a Zubat, nothing interesting, but oh, how I wish that Psywave did psychic-type damage. I love my bike. Ah, that affects plants. This is a this is a video game. Shut up. Also, what do you have? A Pikachu! Okay, we actually haven't seen this. If you don't know who Pikachu is, then you are lying. Pikachu is the mascot. I wasn't originally planning on doing it that slow, but then it's just how it turned out. Jesse, come on out. We need you. We need you, Jesse. I was gonna write you. It's fast, it's a decent special attacker. I mean, it's not the greatest Pokemon, but you know what? They decided this should be the mascot because it's cute. Everybody knows who this is. Hell, this was the first Pokemon I ever knew about. I didn't even know it was Pokemon, I just knew it was Pikachu. It's like, hi, Ash, did you catch all your Pikachus? It's called Pokemon, Mom! Have you seen that Dorkly video where it was like, everybody thinks that Link is Zelda, and everybody thinks that Zelda Samus is Metroid, and everybody thinks that, uh. I. Uh, it's something about Contra, I guess. Like, uh. Like, Bill, the, uh. protagonist of Contra, is actually Contra. I don't know, it's been a while since I saw that video, but what I, but I am sure that Red's mom calls Pokemon Pikachus, which is kind of funny. It's like, everybody knows Pikachu. Freaking everybody knows Pikachu. Uh-huh. And here we are. Dawn! Dawn? I, I'm not healed. Hi, Josh, how's your Pokedex coming on? Me, I'm somewhere between Fantastic and, uh, Hopeless. But that is- this isn't about me, I've got something nice for you. Josh, choose which- you can choose either one of these, it doesn't really have an impact left. I see, you want the Versus Seeker. I mean, what? WHAT? NO! NO! That's not what I wanted! Oh, oh, okay, you, you give me this to me too. No, wait, you give me a do- no, okay, this is a dowsing machine. What? Okay, I was- uh, Open for the experience share! No! I know I'm not reading the text, but really, I'm kind of crestfallen because I thought that you only can get the the experience share 
from dawn at this point in the game. But no, it turns out you can get... Uh... What is it? What did I get? I don't even... I'm too pissed off to remember again. The Versus Seeker. Do you use it when you're in an area with trainers, you can see if they want to rematch you. Anyway, she also gave us a new Poke, new Poke app, so let's show that off. Uh, need to scroll by. I've been using the clock, I guess. Yes, that's it. This is a dowsing machine, and you click on it, or actually you tap it. And if there is a hidden item nearby, it'll show up, like as a dot, and that'll be roughly where it is on the grid. There's other variations of the dowsing machine, but by, by far my favorite would be the one in X and Y. Because that one, you don't really have to... You have to keep clicking something in order to make it work. In uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I remember that you need to hold down your stylus on the touch screen and move it around the dowsing machine to see where stuff is. Which is a it's an upgrade from this, but still not perfect. What was it in black and white? I don't remember quite what it was in black and white. And I'm not done here. I'm not done here. You know why? Because this is where we can have our sh our armor fossil resurrected. Hello, hello, and you are. I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. You have a fossil for me, yes? Shall I turn it into a Pokemon? I am in the process of extracting your... And in traditional Pokemon fashion, all you have to do is leave the room and come back in order to get your resurrected Pokemon. Hello, hello, and you are. I study Pokemon fossils. My hero, you, you were gone too long. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your shield on. You be good to it, okay? And we got shield on. Okay, I didn't plan a name for this thing. Actually, I have an idea. Actually, no, 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 no. I almost changed my mind, but I'm going to stick with what I was thinking of. Evan. This is naming it after actor Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, and he also played Human Torch, and, uh... Lucas Lee in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Well, my absolute favorite movie of all time. He was fabulous in that. <laughs> he was really funny in that, too. Anyway, fifth party member. Like I said, I'm gonna hold off on getting my last party member until later. So, it's not like I'm gonna have my full team right off the bat. But I do have a lot. So, what is this? Brave Nature. I'm gonna check what that is quick. Hold on. Okay, turns out Brave Nature means more attack and less speed. Which is... I'm gonna guess that that's a pretty okay nature for a shield on to have since they're pretty slow to begin with. But they don't have very great attack. And since I do plan to give it attacking moves, it's good that it has that. Okay. You, you can't be in the first gear, you need to be in the, the fast gear in order to do that. So, there. Alright, for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be tackling a dungeon. So, here goes! Also, I'm gonna be showing off what shield on can do, hopefully. Hopefully, at least. Maybe show a little what Milana can do. In fact, uh, let's see what it can do against this Geodude. Actually, I don't know what moves Evan has right now. I didn't name it Evan, so I named it Evan. This is actually my first time using a fossil in an LP. Taunt, takedown, IR, defense, metal sound. Not a great starting move set. Not gonna lie. Okay. Did decent, actually. <laughs> against something that had such high defense, that was actually pretty good. Rock throw, you have no idea how good I'm gonna resist that. Only lost 3 HP. But you know what? I don't got time for small fries like you. I gotta leave. Alright. I was actually saving the rock stealth rock TM for this moment too. I'll also give it to the rock tomb TM, why not? Get more coverage. And take advantage of stab, not to mention that. With luck, I should be able to keep stealth rock on my team the entire time. I'll give it a taunt because that's useless. I think I will keep Metal Sounds and get rid of Metal Iron Defense. Rock Tomb. I think it's ending moves that is going to be something like Metal Sounds, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and uh, Stealth Rock. Get rid of Iron Defense, and we're good to go. Yeah, Metal Sound will be good for lowering special defense. Actually, crap. That might not be good for it, because I'm going to be teaching it mostly physical moves, so that might be useless. 
Oh, it has sturdy, protects it from one-hit KO moves. It's not buffed up like it is in Gen 5, but it's something. Sharply lowers special defense. Eh. I don't think it's gonna help Evan personally. I'm gonna get off my bike. This is annoying. But, you know what? Ah! It might be helpful to someone else that I'm using. And Ponyta! Ah! This might be the good chance to show what Evan can do. Steel Rock Type! I think this might be my first time using a Rock Type move in my, uh... In a, my Pokemon Let's Plays. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I crap my mail meant off, meant, meant. <laughs> I can't really cut that out. Just gotta hope that's not too loud. I should get in the habit of shutting off the mail when I record, and it's not receiving a lot of experience, but I guess it comes with getting a Pokemon at 20 HP. I mean, no, it's, nah. 20 HP would be bad. It's 20 as its level. This is going to be another long episode. A lot of these episodes are going to be pretty long, so I apologize in advance, but... You know what? This is the way I like to do my Pokemon Let's Plays, I guess. Well, now it is! This is how I like to do the Pearl videos. I don't remember if that guy fights you or not. Just in case. Okay, I wasn't in danger of, being, of fighting you anyway. And here we go. This cave that could be Flash, and that's why I taught Milana Flash. The good thing about Evan being at level 20 when I get him is that I don't really have to train him too much to get up to speed with everyone else. So that's nice. I'm gonna keep Milana out in front unless I keep getting into random encounters that force me to... that are stronger than Milana. Obviously, it would be stronger than Milana if they're breaking through Repel and... Hey, this is a prime example. This is a Zubat. Let's see. I can educate you about something while I'm fighting off the Zubat. I forgot what it was. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. There's gonna be a new Pokemon that you can find in here called Bronzor. It's a Steel Psychic type. It's mainly supposed to be a wall, but it can also deal special attacks decently. It also has two abilities. That are, it can possibly have two abilities. One of them is Levitate, which, as you should know, allows you to avoid ground-type moves, and the other one is Heat Proof which reduces the amount of damage you take from fire by half. So, no matter what ability it has, it will only have one weakness. This isn't uh, Generation 6 where steel types are no longer resistant against dark and steel. Like, no, you're still resisting against steel. I mean, dark and... <sighs> ghost. I mean, they're pretty similar anyway. I think dark and ghost are super effective against the same things. Though defensively they are different much different. And this is going to be an annoying fight, isn't it? I should probably cut out the rest of this. Experience-wise, not exactly worth it. And I am praying for the day that Bato gets a water move that is better than Bubble. Let me tell you. Now, what we are looking for here is a little girl. This little girl is lost. We need to find her. And my repel wore off. And this isn't Gen... And this isn't Black and, two, black and 2 and White 2. Which is not to my advantage that this is not Black 2 and White 2. Because now I gotta do all this... Going into menus just to find a repel. And finding escape ropes. Which you can't use when you find the girl. Because, well... If you couldn't have already figured it out, she's a stat trainer. What Pokemon does she have? Well, we'll find out when we find her. Do I have to fight them? I think I do. Who do I want to use? Sure, I'll use Jesse. I'll use Jesse. Friendship needs to go up, and friendship is psychic. Friendship is psychic. That's my new catchphrase. No, it is not, because it's derived from a childish show, and you probably don't have anything interesting. Do you? Do you? Meditite and Weasel. I don't think we've seen Meditite yet, so, uh, you know what? I'll show this. Plus, I don't think you've gotten to see Weasel that well, either. This works out well because Jesse can take on the Weasel, and Malana can take out the Metatite. <sighs> Would you believe that I'm taking a public speaking class right now? I, I wouldn't. I only speak once a week, anyway. First speech was about myself, and the second speech was about communism. But then, I think both of them went over well. 
Weasel go down, weasel go down. Oh, you see weasel, weasel go down. Astonish you. Astonish you in the face. Metatite. Metatite is known for being... Uh, what is the phrase? Psychic fighting. And it is also known for having pure power, an ability that only hit it in its evolution have. This evolution is Metacham, by the way. And they only have it, and it it doubles their physical attack. Their base physical attack. So that's how that works. So basically, it's like not having an ability, but having twice the attack that Bulbapedia says you have. Or that, really, your stats say you have. I don't know. It's a strange ability. Azumarill has a similar ability called Huge Power, pretty much does the same thing. And I'm sure that... And Huge Power is actually more common. I don't remember what other Pokémon have it. Maybe I'll list them if I feel up to it. And maybe Alana will go to level 17. Maybe she'll get a, a new move, which she won't. Using Bites on my Milana, are you? That did a lot. Probably gonna use a potion after this. Don't want to use Psywave, because that move is friggin' useless. I'm not even gonna lie. I you have no idea how much I hate that move. It I hate it with a passion though. Okay? It is the worst psychic move ever conceived. That was a weird voice crack. If you can even call it a voice crack. It wasn't any fun for me. No fair, we we're not on the same level. Well, then you should have trained up before I got here. Then I probably would have complained actually. <laughs> potion. Yo, potion me, beach. I said beach, not the other. Dead end. I did not have to fight them at all. That actually kind of pisses me off. But at least I got to show Metatite. At least I got to show off Metatite. Because we're actually going to be seeing it in its evolution a few more times throughout our adventure. And I need to find this girl. I don't remember where she is, though. I thought she was... I thought she was in the upper right corner of the map. And I'm pretty sure that's where she is, even now. I'm gonna run over Pels, aren't I? Now I have to do a lot of cutting. Which is gonna be annoying. And I'm not going to enjoy that when I run out of Pels. I should have bought more at Orberg, but I did not. I'm gonna check the map. I think I was actually going in the right direction before. My, my last regular Repel War, I'm gonna use the Super Repel. This will be the only thing that I have to save me. So I better make it count. Okay, go up. Also here. Also, if you're wondering what that email I was talking about before was a jacket. Retweeting a thing I said about Vuvuzela's in the World Cup. So there's that. Yep. I was almost there, but I was not. I think it's down here. Yep, I think I'm in I think I'm good now, but I know my super repel's gonna wear off before. I can complete what I need to do here. Luckily, I won't have to fight any trainers with the stat trainer that I'm with, but, uh... Uh, whatever. Yep, I'm out of repel. But I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Gotta keep on trucking. And also, you obviously want to get away from Zubat. That was supposed to be a saying in, turn in lieu of YOLO. Did it work? Was it catchy enough? I don't, th I don't think so. I'm gonna switch Jesse because I want to, to get to level 23 and hopefully evolve from sheer happiness. Because having a boo doo is cute and all, but I want a Rosalia, and I'm gonna keep ranting about that until I get my way, aren't I? Just gotta hope that uh, won't be that annoying to get Christian to level up and evolve. I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. And here we go. This is an optional stat trainer. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. Oh, and right on cue, we actually got a battle. So we can see what kind of Pokemon Mira has. And this is Bronzor, by the way. It looks weird, I know it's kind of criticized, but I like Bronzor quite a bit. It's probably one of my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. And yep, she has a Kadabra. Representative of the... Uh, it was on the tip of my tongue, but the special attack stat. Special attack stat. And Zubat, you go down. Zubat, you go down. Zubat, you go down. And I know 
I'm gonna use hidden power on this Bronzor. I know that it's gonna be resisted since it's a dragon type, but maybe here and now I can actually prove once and for all it's dragon type. Yep, it's dragon type. Didn't do much either. Just upsetting. Okay, I mean, what moves could you possibly know that I do? Mega Drain. Flash! No, you don't. Uh, wait. You knew conf this Bronzor knows confusion, doesn't he? Confuse on. I'm shaking my head at what I just said because it was kind of incomplete and not right. Series X Machina. Yep, you know confusion. You're gonna use it on the target that you should not use it on. Do you not have anything else that's useful though? Really? Flash is nice. Do I have to bring out someone who can take care of this Bronzor Beach? I probably should. I should probably bring out Bato. Yeah, I'll bring out Bato. Yeah, on this turn I'm gonna bring out Bato. Once this turn passes, which okay, now you're using confusion on Jesse. As it did, no, oh, it's a critical hit. Okay, good. Thank God. Thank God. Let's get Bato out. Wait, I didn't heal Bato. Crap. 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 Maybe I should just run from this battle. Yeah. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna run from this battle. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna run from this battle because now they'll be fully healed and ready to go. Jesse, you're level 23. We have an evolution on our hands, do we? No, we don't. That is disappointing. That is legitimately disappointing. Can't use that there because I already used it. Milana, you're out in front now. Now let's rush! Just gonna keep going, just gonna keep trucking, just gonna keep trucking. I wanna get out of here. I wanna get out of here! I apologize in advance for how choppy this is gonna be, but really, the. It's either this or playing music, and I don't really want to play music one speed up. I just want to... I just want to get out of here. I'm actually having good luck here, and I probably shouldn't have said that, because now I'm going to get attacked. Now, I'll come back here later off-screen in order to fight the trainers and maybe level up. Well, of course that would entail that I'm leveling up, but you know what? You know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. I'm sorry, it sounds like something Family Guy would do. If only somebody was actually a fan of me so they could put, a, put together all the times that I've made fun of Family Guy in my videos. That would be hilarious. I just want to say that even the AI that's working with you can be really dumb sometimes because... There was an instance where she could have one-shotted Zubat, and she did not. She used Flash. Oh, there's the exit! I wanted to get to her so I wouldn't be such a scaredy-cat. Josh, bye-bye, thank you! So you don't really get any benefit from doing this side quest, but you do feel warm inside that you helped somebody out, and that you ran into what is probably going to be a Bidoof. Nope, it's a Juyo, dude. But I don't want you either. Sorry, I, I used you in Heart Gold, not a Let's Play, but, uh... Yeah. I was actually considering fighting it and getting another level, but I decided against that. Also, underneath this bridge, somewhere, there's a hidden cave. There is a hidden cave, I'm not crazy. Can I stop being crazy? I know Sinnoh! I know Sinnoh. Can't go over there. There's a hidden cave somewhere, and I keep running into things that I shouldn't run into. Like Ponyta. This I probably am aren't going to be able to run away from because of how fast this guy is. And that's going to be real annoying, isn't it? No, I got away. I got away. Nothing to fear. Underdog is here. Can I get in? Oh, something I'm actually surprised I haven't mentioned yet. Mega Sableye! It's happening! Also, we can't do anything here because Strength Boulders. I knew that, but I decided to go anyway. And while I'm here, I'm gonna poison Barb. This thing really doesn't... I, since I have two poison types, it actually might help. I think, uh, raises the power of poison type moves. Yep, and there's also 
a similar item, not the Toxic Orb, that uh, inflicts poison. I am an idiot. You know what, I'll fight this guy, and Milano will get leveled up. I was right. Ugh, I don't remember when you get a move, but I wait the day when you get a move. I'm gonna keep Bato. And in the same fight, Bato goes to level 20. Awesome. Now he's actually kind of on par with Christian and Jesse, finally. Keep going. Get out of here. Why am- okay. Get out of here. Get out of here! Now! I am sick of being here! Come on. I wanna get out of here. Geo dude. Or Geo lady. Yeah, Geo lady. I think I called you something else that was a similar name earlier, but now you're Geo lady. Because I decided. Ah! Oh! Okay. You know what? Why do I need to show myself going back to Orberg City in the next episode? I'm going to go back to Eterna City. No, wait, I. No, no, you don't go back to Eterna City. No, you don't do that. Nope, nope. Oh. Fush! What am I even saying anymore? Just. All these ponytails, like, I need to buy more pelts. I really do. I use them all in Wayward Cave. We'll be heading east from Orberg City in order to progress in the game. That's where you need to go to progress in the game, and I cannot stand all these stupid wild encounters. Come on. I want to end the episode off here. Come on. This is kind of boring to watch. I am... I apologize profusely. <laughs> I apologize. Game gets better, don't worry. I need to not run into so much of this. Hey! No, I'm not gonna cut that right now. Anyway, next episode... I'm officially ended off here, so before it gets any more boring, next episode we're gonna go... see what... has ahead of us. Take care.